One thing about running a social media agency, if your back end is messy, your whole business will feel stressful. You'll be chasing clients for approvals. You'll be scrambling to find content ideas. You'll be sending last minute, just checking in emails. All the while you're managing five, seven, 10, 15 accounts at once. And that is why I am making this video because of Planable. Planable has changed everything for me. And today I'm going to walk you through how to build a smooth, professional, client ready workflow using Planable step by step with real life use cases from how I have managed to build that. I'm going to be showing you examples on how to build yours as an agency. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Omar Balaji and I am a content creator, a social media strategist, and I am popularly known as the social media ogre. And I am where strategy meets storytelling and where content turns into income. And I help creators, agencies, freelancers build scalable system. And this video is not just a review, it is a proper walkthrough. And this video is also sponsored by Planable. So thank you Planable for sponsoring today's video. I am going to show you how I use Planable to create a client workflow. And I'm going to show you an example of how to create yours from the moment a a brief is submitted to the moment content goes live whether you run a small team or whether you are running a growing agency this is for you so let's start by discussing why planable is ideal for agencies number one planable is different from so many other tools because number one you have unlimited users most tools charge you per user which can become really expensive quickly but planable lets you bring in your entire team bring in your writers designers virtual assistants and even clients at no extra cost Planable only charges per workspace, which leads me to the second thing on why Planable. You have client specific workspace. You have different workspaces for different clients. So you are not confused. So you can manage everything properly all within Planable. You're not putting three clients inside one chaotic dashboard. No, every single brand within Planable has its own workspace. It is clean. It is organized. There is no confusion. You're not putting the right content into the wrong workspace. No, every single client has their own workspace. Another reason why Planable is effective for agencies is you have live previews. Now, your clients don't have to imagine what this post or what the post you're creating for them is going to look like. They see exactly how it's going to show up on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, or the nine other platforms that Planable allows you to post on. Also, Planable allows real-time collaboration. I'm talking about comments, edits, approvals, all in one place. You don't need to go to another tool to be able to make edits or approve. No more scattered WhatsApp chats or Telegram chats or Google Docs. You can do all of that within Planable. So now let's go into how I built a workflow from scratch all within Planable. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a new workspace. I always start by creating a dedicated workspace for every single client. Now, if I am working with a beauty brand and I'm working with a tech brand, they each get their own workspace that doesn't overlap. All you have to do is you log into Planable and you click workspace and you name it whatever the brand is called. Then you can now connect their social media platform accounts like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and all the platforms that they use. And this workspace becomes their digital home. The next step you want to do is you want to organize your campaigns. Now inside each workspace, I can create campaigns. For example, I can have back to school promo. I can also have evergreen content because evergreen content is content that I'm going to be repurposing over time. And that's one campaign I want you to always have when you're working in your agency or when you're creating campaigns, you want to have evergreen content that you can use at every single time. Now this helps me and the client see everything in context. There is no confusion. There is no endless scrolling to find one particular post. Now you can also use labels for extra clarity within Planable. You can use labels like to approve, approve, needs, edit and so on and so forth. There are so many labels all within Planable that you can use when it comes to collaborating. The next thing you want to do 
do is you want to add your teams and your clients. This is where Planable shines above any other tool. You can invite your internal team, which includes maybe your designers, your writers, your editors. You can invite external people like clients, brand reps, legal team, anybody that needs access to the account, you can invite them, especially the legal team. <laughs> and each person gets a role within Planable. You have the admin, that's maybe for you and maybe the team leads. You also have the editor, like for maybe team members who create and schedule posts. You also have the approval for clients who need to approve content before it actually goes live. You also have guests for people who just need to view things that don't need to do any other thing. Now, a lot of clients might not know how to use Planable but you can guide them and Planable has lots of videos and lots of resources on their website which I'm going to link in the description below that you can check out and once you start guiding your clients and they start using Planable they will never go back to that Google document again the next thing you want to do is you want to draft and create content now all you have to do when you are in the workspace is you want to click on create post and start building you can upload your visuals you can write your captions with emojis with hashtags with line breaks or within Planable you can add your first comment if you're someone that likes to add first comment within Planable you can also schedule directly from the same window you don't have to schedule in another window you can schedule within the same window whether you're creating a single image post whether you're creating a carousel whether you're uploading a real planable supports all formats and the live preview it's a game changer you get to see how the post will look like on instagram and most clients actually love it one thing i usually do is i usually upload a full week's worth of content in one go and this saves me time the next thing i want you to know is planable gives you different views mainly the calendar view the grid view the list view the feed view and you can also create your own custom view but let's discuss the two main views that i use which your clients will be most interested in which are the calendar view and the grid view now the calendar view is where you would see content by day week or month and this is great for planning themes or planning promos whereas the grid view is where you will see how your posts will appear visually on a platform like Instagram. For visual brands, I always use the calendar and the grid view to plan how I want the grid to look like. For content every brands like my brand, the calendar view keeps things structured. You can also drag and drop to reschedule posts, no stress. It's just drag and drop to reschedule it. It makes it all easy. The next thing you want to do is you want to collaborate with comments. Now, when a post needs feedback, anyone in the workspace can leave a comment directly under the post. No more screenshotting, no more highlighting in PDFs, no more sending multiple. Please check slide three. Please check this one. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody can just come within Planable and they can just comment and you respond and it is resolved. You can even tag people and mark comments as resolved once changes have been made and this keeps the communication clear and traceable. You can also use Planable to build a proper approval flow. Now, this is where most agencies drop the ball. If you're still manually tracking what's been approved and what hasn't, you're setting yourself up for chaos. Yeah, you're setting yourself up for chaos. Planable lets you create approval stages. For example, first the designer approves that they've done the design, then the strategies approves then the client nothing gets published until everyone checks off their part there's no guesswork no did we send this already moment everything is within a workflow a proper workflow and the next thing you want to do is you want to schedule a publish post once everything is approved just click schedule planable supports direct publishing to nine platforms you can set the time you can adjust the time zone you can schedule weeks or months ahead and if something changes you can edit or reschedule easily planable also keeps a full activity log so you can always know who did what what before people say oh i didn't do that and when it snitches <laughs> planable snitches on us so yeah a few things that i have learned that has made my agency workflow even smoother number one you can create templates for your posts 
within Planable and you can reuse them as many times as you want. I will attach a link in the description below for you to check out how this works and maybe in another video I would dive deep into how to do this. Number two, you can send a shot of body videos to your client explaining how to review and how to approve content in Planable. This will save you hours of explanation and you can resend that video as many times as possible to different clients. Number three, I will tell you that when you're creating within Planable, you want to use consistent naming convention. For example, you can have July 2025 underscore product launch underscore IG. It just makes it consistent and you're not looking for what is not lost. Number four, I will tell you to create internal only notes using the comment section to actually brief your team without client input. You can brief them without the client actually seeing it. And number five, I will tell you to review analytics within Planable to see what is working and what is not working because it is only the numbers that can tell you that. You need to know how to interpret data. And maybe in another video, I would be walking you through how exactly to interpret analytics or create analytics report using Planable. So yeah, my final thoughts. Running a social media agency is a lot. And when your back end is chaotic, your creativity suffers. Planable can help you reclaim your time. It can help you streamline your approvals. It can help you show up like a professional agency. If you want to build a client ready, scalable workflow, I highly recommend that you try Planable out today. If you have any questions using Planable or setting up your own workflow, make sure to drop them in the comments and I would be there to answer your question. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with a fellow agency owner and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.